In October 2009, the Moldavian government held an attention-grabbing undersea cabinet meeting to highlight the risks of climate change. In our very first video linked in the description, we also talked about how Jakarta is sinking. As per C40 network of global cities addressing climate change and expected more than 800 million people living in 570 cities around the world could be at risk of rising sea levels by 2050. Can floating cities be the solution? Experts working on the prototype oceanics in South Korea think so. Oceanics is being built off the coast of South Korea's second largest city, Busan, and is a collaboration between Busan Metropolitan City, UN Habitat, and the Oceanics, a blue tech company based out of New York. The design was unveiled in April 2022 at UN headquarters. Spread over 6 hectares to accommodate 12,000 people, Oceanics will be the first sustainable floating city prototype designed to adapt to rising sea levels. It will be organized into three neighborhoods, with each neighborhood built over 2 hectares. Each neighborhood is further designed to serve a specific purpose of living, research, and lodging. Oceanics is being designed to organically transform and scale over time. Starting from a community of three platforms with 12,000 residents, it will have the potential to scale up to accommodate 100,000 people. The configurable platforms will be anchored with seabed meaning that any platform can be just unplugged and moved as needed. The buoyant platforms are connected to the land with links and bridges. Each platform has three performative paddles which are edges that provide access to the water, regenerate habitat, and provide seating and gathering spaces facing the waterfront. To promote healthy, carbon-free lifestyle, pedestrian-friendly walkways, autonomous electric vehicles, and shared mobility are central to the program. The low-rise buildings will be evenly distributed to balance weight. Locally sourced renewable materials like wood will be used to construct lightweight buildings in forms to maximize the use of sunlight and create comfortable indoor spaces. Biorock is another key material to be used in the construction process. It basically absorbs minerals from seawater and forms a limestone coating that is stronger than concrete, but more importantly, self-sustaining and self-repairing. It also helps to grow new coral reefs, and this is quite in contrast to the process of land reclamation projects which essentially destroy marine life. Each neighborhood will be embedded with six integrated systems making it self-reliant to produce the required energy, recycled and filtered water, and modern urban agriculture ecosystem. Renewable energy sources like solar, waves, wind are being considered to power the neighborhoods. Large winter gardens will provide temperature controlled environments to grow food and provide relief from Busan's cold winters. Salt tolerant vegetation will provide shade and lower cooling costs during summer months. The city is also planning to grow food using 3D ocean farming which basically requires zero fertilizers and rather helps to keep the ocean clean and reduce carbon. Philip Hoffman, CEO of Oceanics, revealed that the company wants to replicate the idea in other coastal cities around the world as their highly sustainable and modular infrastructure solution is relevant to any type of coastal environment. Construction on the $627 million project is expected to begin in 2023 with the goal of completion before the end of 2025. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please do share it in your circle and consider subscribing to the channel for more informative videos.